Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make smooth velocity on After Effects with 3 different ways. But before we get started I changed my name. Finally from now on my channel will be called Rich Bruder just like my Instagram. R.I.P. Tomksville. Uh. Now we can get onto the video. Here is a preview, look at it. It's just so smooth. Here are my clips, that I already prepared to save time. Yes, I'm aware the first and the second clip match, it wasn't intentional, but after I realized that I kept it that way cause I thought it was cool. Now let's get into the tutorial. First method is Twixter. Note, to get the Twixter effect you need to have the Twixter plugin. Basically you just need it to go from fast to slow to fast. This is what I'm doing with the keyframes. Then easy ease them and roughly copy my graphs. And you're done. Now let's move to the second method. For this I'll be using the time remap feature that already comes with After Effects. Sometimes your keyframes will be automatically set to the start and end, but if they aren't then you need to manually set them. Easy ease them and roughly copy the graph I'm doing here. If you're doing this on a precomp you will not see the option to change the frame blending but don't worry. Make sure you have this turned on and go into the precomp. Go onto the video clip and press on the frame blending icon two times, until it reaches this icon. Any other icon will not be as smooth. So only use that one. Lastly, the third method I'm going to show you is using Time Warp. Time Warp already comes with After Effects and it's a pretty similar effect to Twixter. Just like Twixter you need to make 3 keyframes, the ones on the start and end having a fast speed, and the one in the middle having a slow speed. Then easy ease and do the same graph as the one we did with Twixter. Now make sure to have vector detail set to a high value. I usually go from 80 to 100, and there you go. Now you have smooth velocity using 3 different ways. Enjoy.